on party. Avery goes without saying, Tommy, Tommy, any progress? No, 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 tell me later, tell me later. Tommy, this is Avery Carrington. I believe you met at the party? Not in person. Howdy. Avery here has a proposition. <clears throat> Haven't we got other things on our mind? I'm trying to keep the wolves from the door. So could you please cut me some slack? I'm stretched like a wire, and even if I'm dead by the end of the week, I'd like to think that I didn't die poor. Now just okay? calm down, both of you. Son, you help me, and any greaseballs giving you a hard time, I'll see to it they take a long dirt nap. Okay. What could I do for you? This delivery company's got its depot on some prime land. They won't sell. They're hanging on like a big old prairie rat. So we gotta go in there and smoke that vermin out. Head on down there and stir up a hornet's nest. The security will have their hands full, and then you can sneak in and put them out of business. And you could drop by Raphael's for a change of clothes. You might be there a while, but yeah, go for it. Should be a riot. If the balls drop like they should. Stop by my office sometime. Who are these pricks anyway? Lawyer pricks, rug-wearing pricks, surrounded by pricks.
Yeah. Uh, this is Cortez. You were at my party? Yeah, I remember. Uh, Mr. Versetti, it was a most unfortunate incident that happened with your business deal. I know. I want you to know me and my people are doing their utmost to get to the bottom of it. If you'd like to talk to me more privately, you can find me at the boat. Yeah? Okay? Good day, senor. I'll need to see your license. Why? You, me, it's a beautiful man.
Come in and park yourself on the hide, son. Hell, my daddy used to say, never look a gift horse in the mouth. And by golly, he never did. Would you like a drop of the old Kentucky? No, thanks. A clean thinker. I like that. Now, the property business isn't all about highfalutin' paper pushing. It's about dirt and the will to claim that dirt. You with me, son? Oh, yeah. Well, I need some tenacious bastard to let go of some dirt. And you look to me like the kind of guy to persuade him. Persuasion's my forte. Yeah, he'll be down at the country club, down on the golf course. They don't allow guns, so his bodyguards won't be packing lawgivers. Go beat eight tons of crap out of him. Here now, I got you a membership. And boy, you're gonna need more appropriate clothing. This guy's my new friend. I never had a friend with a weight before. Lady Walker, who's on vacation in Vice City, all the way from London, England. Now, she's a big fan of the show, which means we keep it locked on Wild Style. Now, remember, if you're driving in the car, please proceed with a little extra safety and care. And Lady Walker, remember, we drive on the other side of the road. Oh, yeah, man. You speak Spanish? Is this me? Nice ass, baby. Wild Style presents a Mr. Magic World Premiere. 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 Yeah, you want more Mr. Magic? Well, you've got them. Matter of fact, get on it, dog on it, and always remember to be yourself. Never fake the. F Bye. <laughs> 
Dr. Rubenstein, great with feet. Up north, another one for Mr. Sam and the boys and girls downtown. Now let's get back to the non-stop music. Time. The home of rebellion and the vulture. This is V-Rock, where rock and roll reigns supreme. Or we'll peck your eyes out. This is the 100% official home of rebellion with me, Laszlo, the rebel rouser, hellraiser in chief. That's right, I am the master of darkness. That's why my name's Laszlo. It's Laszlo on V-Rock, the home of all rebellion. We'll be right what back. Now look here, son. I got a problem and I reckon you could help me with it. I'm no builder. No, I was thinking more of your demolition skills. Now this here, this is the development as planned and this this is the property that we're looking at. You're trying to say this new office block is kind of in the way. You catch on quick. 
Now I'm gonna head out of town for a while, and if that office development were to face sudden and insurmountable structural problems, then I- As a civil-minded individual, you feel obliged to step in and save the rejuvenation of an important area of the city. Where can I get more guys like you? What the f- 